respectful of traditions, devoted to your leaders. Discipline and comradeship are your strengths. Courage and loyalty, your virtues. I'm turning round, 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 following my feelings crazy, now all bound, searching brothers in our... So hello friends of the French for Legion, I am greeting you. You are very welcome on my channel. Uh, here we are again. So a lot of you guys asking me for the tenue, BDU, for the battle dress uniform in my time. When I was, uh, when I joined the French for Legion in 1985, <laughs> it was like this, you know. Before we had a camouflage tenue until the Operation Leopard area, you know. And after uh, post-Algeria war, we have a camp tenue. Then it was this one. And now we went back to the Legion, went back to camp tenue. So this was the tenue, the battle dress uniform in my time. First of all, we had this kind of, these kind of dog tags, you know. And uh, it's slightly identical like the US dog tag for US soldiers. A little bit more compact and on this dog tag as you know better than i do we have the group sanguine what means the blood group and of course the matricule numero matricule d'un légionnaire so these are the dog tags of the french for leading so i uh, will explain to you a little bit uh, all about the tenue we wear first thing the beret le beret ça c'est le beret vert and this berry is has a green color. And let me tell you that in the French army, the only unit wearing the green berry is the French for Legion. We have the Commando Marine. They also wear a green berry, but it's slightly different. It's a little bit more dark, a little bit darker. So um, most uh, of the regiments in the French for Legion have uh, a crest golden crest the golden crest and in the middle of the golden crest most of the time is the number four three one two whatever and this means the regiment but uh, this is the beret of the paratroopers of the french for legion deuxième rep deuxième regiment étranger parachutiste and while the others always have the flamme légion la flamme légion uh, inside we have the dextrochère so this and senior, this crest is the dextrochere. And the dextrochere shows the, the armed, the armed muscles with the wings and the English dug. So it's not, this is not a sword. This is the English dug, you know. And this is the insignia of the paratroopers of the French Foreign Legion. And it's in silver. Then the green berry has been worn for the first time or worn for the first time from the First BEP, Premier Bataillon Étranger de Parachutistes, in 19, about 1950, 1951, just after the creation of the first BEP. Yeah? And then until today, it's kind of symbol also, like the Capi Blanc, of the French Foreign Legion. Yeah? Greenberry in French means Légion Étranger. Yeah? Okay, Légion Étranger. Then, let's go to the Battle Dress un Uniform. Here we have the galons. This is, these are the galons of a caporal. Have, have a look. Green caporal. Two stripes. Green caporal. Caporal is like, uh, I don't know, like a private, a little bit more than a private, in between private and then in between sergeant, you know. And uh, when I joined the French for Legion, it took me two years to be a caporal. And uh, I was very proud and I made my, the ranks of the caporal in, uh, 1987 in French Guiana. So I, I was there to have to follow the platoon uh, CME, yeah, the Caporal's platoon. And after two years, uh, after two years membership of the French Foreign Legion, I was Caporal. So green Caporal. The next step is Caporal Chef and then Sergeant. Okay. So this is the, the West, the West de Combat. And you can see here the Galon de Caporal one more time. Uh, but when we have them here, this one, we take them off, okay? We take them off. So, even here on the shoulder or on the chest. The next thing we have here, the band patronomic. No, that's this side. The band patronomic. I don't wear it. Uh, so, when you are anonymous, because you know better than I do in the French for Legion, you have a lot of gentlemen looking for a second chance. And they don't have, they don't want 
to yeah to profile themselves with their names so they took the names off so the band patronomics is not the no name huh? and also you can this is from you know man without names french for indigenous man without names that's why band patronomic here then we have two pouches here to open and most of the time when we were wearing this the pretel i will come later to this one we have here the boussole the compass huh? put the compass inside and this is a compass silver a silver is divided in 6400 millions most of the time in Europe, we have even a 360 degree or 400 degrees. Depends on what nation you are using the compass. Huh? This one, Pussol Silva, 6400 million. I love this compass. <laughs> I love to work with it. Huh? So, battle dress uniform, the same color is for the pantalon. Now I'm wearing the Bundeswehr pantalon. So don't worry, it's not, it's not the same we used in the French for religion in 1985. By the way, we changed this tenue to come back to the tenue camouflage in about in the year 1994, something like this, 1995, something like this, yeah. And then this is the pretel. Most of the time in the pretel on the right side here, over the heart, you have the Trousse Amphemarie. This is the first aid kit. And as you have seen here, you have the blood group here on the Trousse Amphemarie. You also have your blood group, huh? and uh, that's it. And now, this is the pretel. La pretel, you have them here. Normally, this is for even if you are tira el rase, what means anti tank man, you have the PA mag, huh? the PA mag, second, 59 millimeters. Huh? So, anyway, I don't have the weapon here, of course not. And here, this is the ammunition for the PA mag 50, huh? original. Huh? And if you are shooter, normal normal uh, marksman, you have, of course, you don't have the etui PA, but you have the etui de famas, you know, one to the right and one to the left. In each pouch, you have three magazines of famas, and in each magazine, you have 25 rounds. So you are good in mathematics? <laughs> I guess so. So today, that's what I wanted to show you. This was our battle dress uniform in the French for religion in my time from 1985 to about 1995, 10 years. So 10 years I wore this uh, battle dress uniform, what means tenue de combat even F1 or tenue de combat even F2. That's why. And in winter time, in winter time, we also have this chemise here with a collar, with a collar and a zipper in the middle. It's called chemise F1. Chemise model F, our first model. It's very nice and comfortable in winter time. It's very hot, chaud, très chaud, etc. Très bien. And this is all I wanted to tell you for today. I wish you a good weekend. Amitié légionnaire. Yours, Thomas Gard. Bye bye. See you next. No coffee, no burki. Allons, <laughs> en best en pantalon. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. So I am back again quicker as you could imagine because I forget something to say, something very important. Most of the time when we have been in intervention for with the United Nations or others, you know, Cambodia, Bosnia, Somalia and whatever, we were on the left side, on the left side of the body close to our heart, a fula like this. And this is shows once the inscription Légion étrangère with golden letters and La tricolore, la tricolore, it's the French national flag. Most of the time that means this is the French butt, the French battalion, you know, of the French Foreign Legion. That's it. Bye bye. Quand on a beau feu son pognon, et gâché par un coup de cochon, Tout sa carrière en bronze et gracieux sando, et en son front en front de bacro, pour le jaune. Searching for brothers in arms 
turning all round round following my feelings crazy narrow bound here we are here you are here i am moving towards invincibility 